the plan is actually to have this pipeline, by the way, getting all the way to Mombasa by the year 2022. Remember the original plan was to get it by the, by the year around 2020, but because of uh, the intricacies around land acquisition, this has become pretty much impossible. And now the deadline has been pushed to around the year 2022. The question is, will we hack it this time around, bearing in mind the intricacies around land acquisition and compensation? Early this month, the National Land Commission announced through a gazette notice plans to acquire more than 5,000 hectares of land in the Amosin, Gamia and Twiga oil fields to pave way for the construction of the 800-kilometer Trokana Lam crude oil pipeline. The gazette notice said 516 landowners will be compensated. However, the exercise is likely to face major headwinds from locals. Trokana County Governor Josphat Nanok accuses the Lands Commission of embarking on the land adjudication process without seeking input from the locals. They have not consulted us. We have not marked out and agreed on which lands. Mm -hmm. We have not... Uh, our surveyors, basically the surveyors who understand this county, have not known, were not even involved in when they were deciding on the coordinates. Mm. We don't know where the coordinates are. Mm. The, uh, there was no decision to decide that uh, uh, what they gazetted 516 families are the ones living in the area they want to demarket because that land is unregistered. Mm. It is still under the control of the county government on behalf of communities. Mm. Though NLC says the affected land belongs to the 516 identified landowners, local residents claim the land in question is communal and all residents should be compensated. This new row is likely to delay the construction of the 100 billion shillings oil pipeline between Lokichara and Lamu, which is already running behind construction schedule. We will give national government, we will give the contractor mm -hmm. 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Maximum well. is 99. Mm -hmm. They lease it, mm -hmm. and then once they have extracted what they want, mm -hmm. that national resource mm -hmm. reverted back to the original owner. Tell Otherwise, me this. Mm -hmm. the direction is. When you compensate those who are sitting there and you give them resources, mm. where are they going to go? Because the rest is community land belonging to other families. However, Petroleum and Mining Chief Administrative Secretary Engineer John Mosonik has however allayed fears of further pipeline construction delays, saying the government is relooking at the compensation issue. Mosonik says the government is targeting to complete the pipeline project before the year 2023. I think these are not going to exercise, so in the next three, four months, we should be able to know exactly uh, how much um, we should be able to pay for compensation. Mm -hmm. But again, I'll tell you that uh, you know, whenever there is uh, indication that uh, the pipeline is passing through a given area, there are speculators, there are many people who go along, so they quite often you find the prices are right. But still, I would say, uh, whatever is going to happen will be a fair kind of value, a market rate, and so on, not based on what it was Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. The pipeline will be 821 kilometers long and will transport around 80,000 barrels of oil per day from Lokichaya oil fields in northern Kenya to the Lamu seaport. The project, which is being developed by Talo Oil, will be financed by 70% debt and 30% equity. O'Brien came for business, News Hour.